Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 10. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10. I'm going to read from verse... Verse 19. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The well known scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the law. It says, as a matter of fact, let's start from verse 17. Start from verse 17. It says, verse 17 of Luke 10, it says, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. Verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise his name. Glory to God. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. And as you as you read that scripture, I'm reminded that, and we, we should all be aware, that there is so much demonic activity taking place in the world right now. A lot of demonic activity. Um, a lot of spiritual war is happening and even the things you see happening in this country, even the political scene, a lot of it is demonic, demonic, demonic. Uh, there's, there's a whole movement, as I've said before, there's a whole movement going on to witch the vote, the vote coming up. Yeah, there's a witch the vote movement. The witches are... are trying to do their sorcery and their spells to have the vote vote the way they want to. Uh, I've told you about right here in Brooklyn, right here in Brooklyn, that there was a promotion and a gathering of witches to put a hex on those they don't like those they don't like politically and put a hex on those in power and those in authority. They, they gather together to put an X on it. You know, the Bible tells us that we ought to pray for those that are in authority. Do you know that? Somebody bless the law. Yeah. yeah. And the Bible doesn't say just pray for the good ones. It says well, pray for those that are in authority so that we may live a quiet and peaceable life. So when witches gather together to put spells and curses on those in leadership and those in authority is so that we don't, the land is not peaceful, that the land is chaotic, that we don't live peaceable lives. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Glory be to God. And uh, right here in Brooklyn, about 10,000 people signed up, uh, more than 900 in attendance to, to put a hex on leaders in the country and those in positions of authority. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise his name. 
Somebody raise his name. They gathered right in a uh, uh, witchcraft shop. There's many of those in Brooklyn. You, you go around Brooklyn, you'll see, you'll see shops, uh, spiritual healing. Uh, you'll see shops for all kind of um, demonic stuff. It's all over, all over Brooklyn. And not only that, but you have you have the psychics, you have the palm readers, you have the churches that pretend to be bless the law. Deacon, get my computer, the computer from uh, my bag. Put this one. You have uh, so-called spiritual churches that are actually um, operating in demonic spirits, operating in voodoo and and uh, different type of divination, witchcraft. Somebody bless the law. And folks go to these places and think that it's, um, it's, a, it's a church. I think it's a godly church. Sometimes it looks like a church in every way. And they are performing, they are performing, somebody bless the law. They are performing uh, exes on people, put curses on people. Instead of experiencing deliverance. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Many times you see right in Brooklyn, you see folks that their mind is not together. Their mind is not straight. Uh, their mind is all over the place. Because they're under demonic oppression. They're under demonic bondage. And because they're in demonic bondage, their mind is messed up. The mind is not right. The mind is not straight. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. And they look for deliverance. They look for uh, a way out. But they find no way out. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody praise his name. But do you know you have authority over demonic spirits? Do you understand you have authority over demonic spirits? Anybody understand you have authority over demonic spirits? You have power and you have authority over demonic spirit. You have been positioned in authority. And a couple of weeks ago, I told you, you've been positioned in authority in different areas of your life. Because you're a child of God who has been given authority, you have to know how to exercise the authority that you have been given. You can, you can be given something and don't put it into practice. Somebody bless the law. You've, 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 you've been given authority over, as a child of God, you've been given authority over the flesh, over the body. But you can allow the body to control you, or you can put the body in subjection. Somebody praise his name. And the Bible says, Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, he said, while he preaches to others, he makes sure he put his body in subjection or as he make his body a slave, he make his body be obedient to him, so that while he preach to others, he himself is not cast away. Somebody praise his name. But even though, bless the Lord, he has been given authority and power, and he's preaching, he's laying hand on the sick, the sick are recovering, he's healing, bless the Lord, he's, he's prophesying, he's speaking in tongues, and he's doing all manner of miracles, but yet he said he has to exercise authority over his own body. Okay, if he don't exercise authority over his own body, then he can end up preaching to others and he be a castaway because he do the things he should not do. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise his name. But you've been positioned in authority. Glory to God. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. You've been positioned in authority. The Bible says that glory be to God. When Jesus saved you, when you were saved, it's like when Jesus rose from the dead. The Bible says you are brought back to life and you were seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. It means you were given authority. You are seated in heavenly places, being positioned in a place of authority. Somebody praise his name. Hallelujah. You are a child of God, and as a child of God, hallelujah. Devils are not over you. Devils are not on top of you. You are 
are put in a place, a position where you're over devils. Somebody raise his name. Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Glory to God. And he is the head of the church. And we are the body of Christ. And he's been placed above. Jesus rose and he was risen and placed above all principalities and all powers. And every name that is named, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1. And he was made to be the head of the church. And he's the head of the church and you are the body and the devils are underneath our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the head. We are the what? We are the body, the devils are underneath our feet. He was raised and placed above all principalities and powers. Glory to God. And made the head of the church. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1 verse 16, he said, he said, God has translated us out of the powers of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Somebody say kingdom. We say kingdom. We are translated. We were once under the power of darkness. But we were translated, we were taken out of the power of darkness, and we were placed in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. Amen. And we have the authority of the kingdom, because the spirit of God lives in us. Jesus said, praise God. Jesus said, if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then that means the kingdom of God is among you. Hallelujah. He said, the kingdom of God is among you if I cast out devils by the spirit of God. Jesus didn't cast out devils by devils. No. Jesus didn't cast out devils with antics. He didn't cast out devils, bless the Lord, with, 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 with you know, some kind of exorcism method. You know, he didn't do that. No, he cast out devils by the spirit of God. Even the same way, bless the Lord, we have the authority of the kingdom of God because the spirit of God is in us. Lift your hand the spirit of God lives in you. Hallelujah. And the spirit of God lives in you. It means that you have the authority of the kingdom of God. Devils are not over you. You have authority over devils. Somebody praise his name. So you've been positioned with authority. You've been positioned with authority over demonic spirits. You've been positioned with authority over devils. Glory to God. You've been positioned with authority. Glory to God. Over their works of darkness. Hallelujah. All the demonic spirits that the, that the devil is using, operating in Brooklyn. You have authority over them because of the spirit of God. You've been positioned in authority. Somebody give God some praise and glory. Hallelujah. And you got to exercise the authority that you have over demons and devils. Devils, the, the devil cannot be everywhere at once. The devil is not omnipresent. Your God is omnipresent. God is with us here right now. And if you're in Africa, God is there in Africa. And anywhere you are, God is there because God is omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. But the devil is not omnipresent. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. He's not omnipresent. Glory to God. He's not everywhere at the same time. The Bible says he walks to and fro in Job chapter 1. So he moves to different places. But what he has, he has an army of demonic spirits that work with him. So you, 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 he has his works going on in different parts of the world because he has an army of demonic spirits. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12, he said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. So the devil has an army of demonic spirits that are operating in different parts of the world. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. And the enemy will attack you personally. Will attack you personally. And you got to know how to exercise authority against devils and demonic spirit that come against your life personally. And then you got to know that you position authority to deal with devils that are around you. So personal, is it personal? Yes, personal, and you have authority to deal with devils around you. Now, if you cannot deal with them in your own personal life, then you can't deal with them around you. Somebody raise his name. You'll be positioned in authority. You got to deal with those devils 
that are operating against your personal life, against your mind, against your spirit, against your body. In Matthew chapter 4, when Jesus was tempted by the devil, I, I, I don't believe Jesus saw the devil with his natural eyes. Not, not like that. Glory to God. Uh, no, it was a temptation that was happening spiritually. The devil was speaking to Jesus in his mind while he was fasting. It's the same way the devil attacks us, glory to God. He brings a thought to your mind, glory to God. Uh, he brings a suggestion to your mind to do something that is outside of the will of God. Jesus knew how to deal with the devil on a personal level. When the devil attacked him, he said, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Somebody bless the Lord. But you have to know how to deal using the authority God has given you with the attacks of the devil against your personal life. Praise God. So we say personal. And you, you handle, praise God, the enemy in your personal life. You exercise your authority in your personal life when he attacks your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body. Glory to God. Deal with the attacks he has against you in your family. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody raise his name. Yeah. Yeah, you're never attacking your child, attacking your husband, your wife, attacking your mother, attacking your sister or brother. And you know under God, because you have dealt with it yourself in your own personal life, you know under God to deal with it against when it's against your brother, when it's against your sister, when it's against your children. You rebuke the devil from their life. You rebuke the devil from their, your home because you've been positioned in authority. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I have authority in the name of Jesus. Yeah, somebody say, I have authority in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Say it again. I have authority in the name of Jesus. If you can deal with it in your personal life and deal with it in your home, then you can deal with it with others. You can go on the street and minister against demonic spirits and cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody praise his name. They can minister to others with authority. And the devil is trying to bind up their mind. You can deal with them with authority in the name of Jesus. You exercise and use the authority God has given you first in your own personal life. So your position in authority over demons and devils. Your position in authority over demons and devils. And to exercise that, you exercise it by number one, submission by submission. Submission to God. Submission to God. You cannot deal with the devils that attack your personal life without submitting to God. It starts right there. Without obedience to God, hallelujah. Without obedience to the will of God, you cannot deal with the personal attacks against your life. It doesn't matter how much you plead the blood. It doesn't matter how much you say the name of Jesus. If you're not submitting to the will of God in your life, you cannot deal with the devils. James chapter 4 and verse 7. James 4 verse 7. The Bible says in James 4 verse 7, it says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So the first thing to do is to submit to God. If you're going to exercise your authority against devils, you got to submit to God. you got to be obedient to God. Obedient to the word of God. Somebody praise his name obedient to the word of God. You cannot disobey this word and then fight devils at the same time. It doesn't work. Somebody praise his name. Somebody raise his name. Huh? You can't do what you want to do and don't obey God's word and then think you're going to drive the devil out of your house. You know, some, some folks, they, they come and ask a prior, a devil attacking their house, attacking their mind, and they ask a prior, oh, pastor, pray for me, brother, pray for me, sister, pray for me, and they decide to continue living in sin. Huh? And sometimes you pray for them and there's a release for a moment. Huh? They get a little release for a moment, but they're in sin. But the same devil's going to come back again. Anybody get what I'm saying? No. And a person, you know, authority over demons and devils, you could have someone come and you say, oh, pray for me, pastor. You pray for them and they, get a, they, they feel a release for a day. They, uh, they, they feel the oppression gone for a day. They feel some peace for a day. But they go back into the same sins that they are in. Because I mean, if you don't, glory to God, submit to God, the devil's just going to come back. And he'll come back worse too. Bible says it. He said, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, 
he go, the unclean spirit go looking about and don't find any place to settle. The unclean spirit go back to the same place he came out of and check to see. <laughs> and if there's nothing, nothing is better, they just go back and settle there. And they bring more worse demons too. Somebody raise his name. So to exercise your authority against demonic spirit, you must submit to God. We must do what? We must submit to God. We must obey God's word. Follow what the word of God tells us to do. Somebody praise his name. Not only obeying, not only obeying the word of God, somebody praise the name of Jesus, but obey the spirit of God. And the spirit of God will speak to you to do certain things. And when the spirit of God speaks to you, follow what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. I'll, I'll never forget the time. There was one time in my teenage years and um, I went to work and um, I came home and uh, I just got paid. You know, not a lot of money. It was a teenager, a teenage job. And I got paid that day and I, I, I cashed the check. I had all the cash. And I came home and I was hungry. And I said, okay, I'm going to go out and get some food. Uh, maybe I was about 15, somewhere there. And uh, <laughs> the Holy Spirit said, no, don't do that. Go and pray. But I, I was really hungry. And I thought for a moment, I said, <laughs> no, if I get some food, there's nothing, nothing wrong. I get some food, I'll eat, and then I'll, I'll go and pray. So I decided to go to buy the food. Somebody bless the Lord. It, it, to resist the devil, you got to submit to you got to submit to God. The reason you got to submit to? God. Amen. So I went, I went to the store. When I walked into the store, you know, there was a guy there and he asked me, um, you know, when I walked in, there was a lot of smoke. He was smoking. And uh, he's, he's, when I walked in, he said, why are you looking at me? And I said, oh, I'm not looking at you. It's just, I saw all the smoke. All right. And um, anyway, he bought his stuff and he, and he left. And the, the person that was selling said to me, you know, just go home. Just go home as quick as you can. He said, because these guys are trouble. And uh, after I bought whatever I bought, I, I came out the store. And lo and behold, he's waiting for me. He pulls out a big knife, you know. So it wasn't the first time I've been held up by a knife. I don't know if I've held up by a knife before. I rebuke the person in the name of Jesus. I, I'll do the same thing again. <laughs> but this time I disobeyed the Holy Spirit. So I rebuke him in, in the name of Jesus. He, he said, he, he cursed. He cursed Jesus. I said, I don't care about that. And he kept the knife in front of me. And at that moment, I, I prayed, you know. I, I prayed a little prayer. Somebody bless the Lord. And uh, <laughs> God is merciful. And I prayed the prayer, bless the Lord. He said, give me, he said, give me a dollar. You know, I had like $80 in my pocket. I just cashed my check. He said, give me a dollar. And I don't know all the money is in my pocket. So I don't know what's going to come out. I don't know if it's 20 going to come out. I don't know if it's 10 or 5 or what. So I put my hand in my pocket and I said, Lord, please let a dollar come out. And I had my pocket and a dollar came out. And I, I said, what, that's all you want? And, and he laughed at me. He said, oh, you're a punk. And I laughed in my head. I said, I have $80 in my pocket. There was like 20 of them. You know, he wasn't one old night, but it was like 20, like a gang, like 20 more of them behind him. And uh, I gave him the dollar, and he, and he called me names or whatever, and I walked off, and that was it. But here's, here's the point. If I had obeyed the Holy Spirit, I wouldn't even face the problem. Number two, I have held up with knife before. I rebuked it. And, and, you know, it worked. This time, because I disobeyed the Holy Spirit, I didn't have the authority. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. To drive the devil away. Glory to God. I had to seek God for mercy. Somebody bless the Lord. So you got to submit to God. In order to resist the devil, you got to submit to God. So submit to God. Number two. Number two right there. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. To be positioned with authority over demons and devils. So to exercise it, it starts personally. You've got to submit to God. Obey his word. Obey his Holy Spirit. Glory to God. 
and resist the devil. How do we resist the devil? How do we resist the devil? How do we resist the devil? Once we're submitted to God, how do we resist the devil? What do we do to, to resist the devil? Can anybody tell me? How do we resist the devil? Praise the name of Jesus. Come, 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 come. How do we resist the devil? Come tell us, come tell us. Come tell us, deacon. Yes, come tell us. How do we resist the devil? Glory to God. Come, come, take the mic, take the mic. How do you resist the devil? Come tell us. By obeying the word of God. Okay, so we obey the word of God and now the devil is attacking. What do we do? How do you resist him? We obey his word, we obey God's word, and the devil attacks you. You're doing what God wants you to do. The devil attack your mind. The devil attack your spirit. What do you do? Use the word. I hear use the word. Use the word how? How do we use the word? Come on, church. How do we use the, the devil attack your mind? Put some, some terrible thought in your mind. You're doing the will of God. You do what God wants. And this thought comes to your mind. That's what's ungodly. What do you do? The quote scripture. Hallelujah. Yes. So Jesus, how did Jesus resist the devil? The devil came to Jesus' mind. The devil said to Jesus, Jesus, I know you're on fasting, but why don't you just command these stones to be made bread? Jesus, why don't you jump off this cliff? Jesus, why don't you bow down and worship me and I'll give you all the world? And what did Jesus do? How did Jesus resist the devil? He used the scripture. He rebuked him using the word of God. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. That's the rebuke. That's the resistance. For it is written. For it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve. So when you're resisting the enemy, use your mouth. Do what? Use your mouth. Things are attacking your mind. Bring some terrible thought to your mind. Some things to do. You're tempted to do the wrong thing. And you know, uh, you, 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 know you, 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 may just, you try to hold yourself back. Use your mouth. Use your mouth. Say, get behind me, Satan. You, you don't have to say, get behind me. Say, I rebuke your unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says, for the Bible says, for it is written. You say just like Jesus, for it is written. And quote that scripture, the devil come to your mind to tell a lie, glory to God. You find yourself in a bind and they will come to your mind again to, to, to lie, glory be to God. I rebuke that lying spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against you lying spirit in Jesus and get out of my mind. For it is written, glory to God, hallelujah, speak the truth one to another. Yes, Ephesians chapter 4. Somebody praise his name. Some unclean, impure thought come to your mind. I rebuke you, unclean thought. I rebuke your impure thoughts in Jesus' name. For it is written, whatsoever things are pure, think on these things. Hallelujah. You resist those attacks on your life. Somebody lift your hands and praise his name. Hallelujah. The devil is telling you, stay home. Sunday morning, stay home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nothing wrong with you taking a rest. Sunday morning, let's stay home. Glory to God. I rebuke you, devil, in the name of Jesus, for it is written, I was glad when they said unto me, come and let us go into the house of the Lord. Somebody praise his name. Yeah, deal with the devil in your personal life. Glory to God. If you're afraid to rebuke the devil from your life, how are you going to rebuke him from others? So you're positioning what? There's some mentally sick people that need your help. Hallelujah. There's some people who's going to be under the X's and the curses that need your help. But for you to exercise authority over them, you got to first exercise authority in your own life. You can't rebuke the devil from your own life. How are you going to rebuke him from others? Somebody raise his name. Somebody raise his name. Open your mouth and command the devil to leave your mind. Glory to God. To leave your thoughts. In the name of Jesus. Somebody raise his name. Somebody raise his name. Come on. Come on, church. Somebody raise his name. Stand up on your feet. Glory to God. Let's practice for a moment. Hallelujah. Rebuke the devil. Glory to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Any attack on your life. Praise God. Praise God. 
Rebeko Satan Bebeke Sikorandaraba. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hold on, 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 hold on. You're nice to the are you nice to the devil? You're nice to the devil. Oh, you're calling him in the name of Jesus. You the devil get away. Nice to the devil. No, 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 no. Bless the law. You gotta be angry at Satan. You gotta hate the things that he do. My God, and come against him with boldness and with authority because you're not afraid of him. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Can we lift up our voice, glory to God, and use your authority, glory to God. Come against every attack on your mind, any attack on your body, attack on your home, hallelujah, attack on your spirit, and rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Rebuke every unclean spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rebuke him from your life. Rebuke every perverse spirit in the name of Jesus. Every lying spirit, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Any type of attack, come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God and quote the word of God against him. Come on church, get into warfare right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every attack on the man. The blood of Jesus is against you, Satan. In the name of Jesus, for it is written, whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. The plead the blood of Jesus against your perverse spirit or the weapons of our warfare. I'm not carnal, but mighty to God to the pulling down of strongholds. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God every impurity of mind will rebuke you. Every impurity of thought will rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, confusion will rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, anxiety and worry, the blood of Jesus is against you. Get out in the name of Jesus. Glory to God, for it is written whatsoever things of a good report. Think on these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But we have the victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit of lust, rebuke him in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is against you. Spirit of rebellion, rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Hallelujah. But God, right obedience uh, than sacrifice uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Release purity, uh, godliness, righteousness uh, into our lives, uh, into our minds, uh, into our souls uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the victory. Uh, hallelujah. Lift your hands and give the Lord praise. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah! Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe see that glory to God. Hallelujah. Now here's the thing now. When the devil attacks you on your job, attacks you in your home, attacks you in your bedroom, attacks you when you're when you're trying we're going in your in transportation, bless you, you're traveling. Glory to God. That's the time to open your mouth and use that authority that God has given. We do it here in church. It's a practice. But it's when you're out and about and the enemy attacking you. That's the time. Use that authority. Somebody bless the Lord. Don't be nice with the devil. Jesus. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord. Personal. Submit to God. Resist the devil. Somebody raise his name. Somebody raise his name. Somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. So you, praise God, submit to God, resist the devil, glory to God. Number three, number three, you're, you're exercising your authority against the devil. You're positioning authority over demonic spirit. Because you're positioning authority, you submit to God, you resist. So by submission, by resistance, number three, by the whole armor, by the whole armor of God. By the whole, we're talking about personally now. 
personal. We're not, we don't get to others yet. Personally, by the whole armor of God. He put on the whole armor of God. Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Glory to God, the whole armor of God. What's, what's in the armor? Come on, church. You know it. What's in the armor? What is, what is the whole armor of God? Hallelujah. The helmet of what? The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation is the hope of eternal life. Somebody raise his name. You keep your head together. Hallelujah. Because you have hope. Ha! You don't lose it because things are happening down here on earth. Because things are going bad. Because you have you have hope. The, the helmet of salvation is the hope of eternal life. You have the assurance that you are saved. That's the helmet of salvation. I know I got salvation. I know I'm saved. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. I know if I die right now, I'm going to glory. I'm going to heaven to be with God. Hallelujah. My salvation is secure in Jesus Christ. Glory to God. That is the helmet of salvation. You're not going to let anybody with some other doctrine come along and move you out because you know you have a salvation. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Your head is together. Nobody can come. God, come with some doctrine. Glory to God. Some other doctrine. Jehovah's Witness can't come with a doctrine and move you. You know why? Because you know you are saved and you believe that Jesus Christ is God. Hallelujah. I don't need your doctrine. I have the helmet of salvation. Glory to God. My, my, I, I, my loins are girt about with what? Come on, church. My loins are girt about with what? Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life Jesus said praise God his word is truth so you, have, you have your loins girt about with truth you have the truth of the word of God you have the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord somebody praise his name somebody praise his name somebody praise his name some guy can't show up down the street and say, hey, I'm the Christ. And you run, go over there like you're crazy. No, your, your belt is tight. You're not loose. Glory to God. And you know that only Jesus who died on the cross and rose again and is on the right hand of the Father. He's the only one that's the Lord and God. Somebody praise his name. Truth. You are the truth of the word of God. I mean, you can't come with some new doctrine and move you off. Come with some new doctrine telling you could do whatever you want and still be saved. No, you know the word of God. Man, the law is going about with truth, the helmet of salvation. No, the sword of the spirit, which is the what? The word of God. That's what we were just using. Rebuke the devil. According to those scripture, that's the sword of the spirit. Guess what? It works too in preaching the gospel. Do you know you're using a sword when you preach the gospel? Yeah. All kind of wicked spirits bow at that word. When you're preaching the word of God, that's why people get saved. Somebody bless the Lord. As you preach the word of God, it breaks down the strongholds and the demonic things that are binding their mind. And the gospel pierces through so that they decide to give their life to Christ. Somebody praise God. Did you know that preaching is a form of spiritual warfare? Somebody praise his name. Me, you go and preach the word of God out on the street. My God Almighty, that word is coming against demons and devils. You're taking a sword and you're hitting the devil on his head. Somebody bless the Lord. They may not get saved right there. That's when they go home and that word continue to work, moving in their heart and in their mind, their spirit, bringing down the lies that the devil brings and they get saved. Oh, hallelujah. And the shield of what? Shield of what? Faith, you believe God, you trust God, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You're ready to share the gospel, ready to preach the gospel in time. You're ready. You know when you feel you have shoes on your feet, you're ready to go. Am I right? Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace mean that you're ready to share the gospel. If somebody asks you, you're ready. Glory to God. Always be ready to share the gospel. Because we're in warfare. Somebody bless the Lord. The most unlikely person may, may ask you all of a sudden, you know, a co-worker, hey, you never thought they had any interest in that, they could ask you. One day, a, a, a Rastafari just walk up to you and, and they start asking you, you know, they want to get saved and you're shocked and you couldn't believe. <laughs> but you're always ready. So they're always ready. I mean, warfare. Amen. Hallelujah. So you got the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. If you have the whole armor of God, then your whole life is covered 
hallelujah, over the works of the enemy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. So personally now, you submit to God, you resist the devil, you put on the whole armor of God. Somebody praise his name, lift your hands and give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let's move into now. You're exercising authority in your own life. You want to exercise authority in your family, in your home. Minister to your, your cousin and your brother and your sisters and your, your husband, your wife, etc., etc. The devil attacking your children. You know, exercise authority over them. So we want to move into ministering to others. So we start personally. If we can't deal with the enemy personally, we can't deal with him in others. Amen? Amen? You devil attack your mind? You can't deal with it in your own mind. How are you going to deal with it? You attack somebody else's mind. So you exercise first by dealing with your own mind, your own spirit. Glory to God. And then you're going to go into ministering to others. How do we do it? How do we minister to others? Bless the Lord and rebuke demonic spirits from their life. Well, it has to be by faith. So by submission, by resistance, by the whole armor, by faith. By what? In order to minister to others and drive devils out of their life, you have to believe God. Somebody praise his name. You've got to believe God for that other person's deliverance. You've got to exercise faith that when you rebuke that spirit from their life in the name of Jesus, that because you have authority, that demonic spirit is going to go. And don't doubt. Yeah. So there was one time where Jesus was up in the mountain with three of his disciples in the Mount of Transfiguration. And... Uh, the rest of his uh, disciples were down here on earth. Nine, uh, nine, nine were left here. You know, they weren't in the mountain. They were in the plain. Somebody bless the Lord. And a man came to them uh, with his son on a, at an unclean spirit and asked the disciples to cast it out. And they could not cast out the devil. They could not drive out the devil out of the boy. And when Jesus came down, they, they asked Jesus to cast out the devil and the man said to Jesus I asked your disciples they weren't able to do it and Jesus said you faithless generation how long will I be with you then Jesus drove the devil out he rebuked the devil cast it out of the boy and the boy was healed then they came to Jesus privately the nine disciples came to Jesus privately in Matthew chapter 17 and said to Jesus why could we not cast him out why could we not drive that devil out of the boy? And Jesus said, because your faith is too small. He said, if you have faith, <laughs> I say to this mountain, be thou removed. He said, nothing will be impossible to you. So that tells us that in order to minister deliverance to somebody else, we have to have faith. Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Look in Matthew chapter 17. Look in Matthew chapter 17. Somebody shout hallelujah. Matthew 17 and verse 19. No, let's look at verse uh, 20. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Why could they, why Jesus said they couldn't cast it out? Because of their unbelief. Matthew 17, 20. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed... He shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How much faith do you have to have? A great amount of faith. Is that what it says? No. Your faith as a what? A grain of mustard seed. You shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, the cast in the midst of the sea. So that means, hallelujah, if you just have a little faith, you can minister deliverance to others. What? I thought that to be great in faith to do it. No, did, did I, just, I just read the scripture, right? No, if I just have faith as a mustard seed, I can minister deliverance to others. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it doesn't take a whole large amount of faith. Because you are a child of God. Child of God already over devils. Hello? Oh, I see some looks. You're a child of God. You're already positioned in authority. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Mm. You're already positioned in a place of power. 
So if you, if you just act on that faith you have and rebuke the devil from somebody else, the devil got to go. The Bible says in 1 John 5 verse 4, whatsoever is born of God overcome the world. Lift your hand if you're born of God. Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said, whatsoever is born of God overcome the world. Hallelujah. And this is the faith that overcome the world. What is the faith that overcome the world? He that believe it, that Jesus is the Christ. Lift your hand you believe Jesus is the Christ. That's the faith it takes to deliver somebody else. Ah, Every child of God have that faith. Is there any, any child of God who don't believe Jesus is Lord? Every child of God, if you have that faith, that's the faith it takes to command devils to leave others. Ah, all right, all right. If you still doubt me, Matthew chapter 16, verse 15, what does it say? It said, these signs shall follow them that, come on church, these signs shall follow them that what? That believe, that believe what? That believe in Christ. So all you need is the faith that you have to get saved. Huh? I said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. All you need is the faith that got you saved. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, yes. Somebody could get saved last night, and their house was filled with demons, and they could go home, huh? and they could say, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against you. Huh? And the demons leave. They just got saved last night. Yeah. That's all the faith you need. Somebody raise his name. Somebody raise his name. So by faith. Somebody say by faith. Believe God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody said, but I believe God. But pastor, I believe God. And we were ministering to this person. And the demons didn't leave. Ah, because some kinds, some types do not come out unless you're spiritually prepared with prayer and fasting. So there's many types that will leave just by your faith. Oh, Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and praise his name. Hallelujah. Somebody praise his name. There's a whole lot of devils you could deal with even if you, I'll get in trouble, even if you don't pray and fast a lot. Just being a child of God. Yeah. What? Yeah. Can I say it again? Just being a child of God. There's a whole lot of devil you can deal with. Just being born again. But whatsoever is born of God, overcome it thee. No, don't take that to mean I'm saying don't pray and fast. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying to you is that there's a whole lot of stuff you could deal with just being a child of God. You have a headache and you want to get medi medication. Child of God. Put your hand on your head. Say you headache, leave. That's a small thing. We're not talking about cancer. <laughs> We're not talking about something that hold on for a long time. Let's talk about a little, a, a, a little headache. Ah, your child having a, a little cold, a little fever. Ah, don't, don't, don't. Lay your hand on them and say, you feel, get out in the name of Jesus. Now you don't even know what you're doing. Somebody raise his name. I remember one time, glory to God, a mother, hallelujah, brought a little child for pride. Bless the Lord. And I was just praying. I was just, you know, I was just doing my job. Glory to God. You know, I wasn't thinking about, you know, this boy is going to be healed. I, I was just, you know, let me, let me pray. Glory to God. They came for prayer. Let me pray. I laid hand on the boy and I prayed. Somebody praise his name. And when I prayed, I felt something leave my hand. And the boy was healed. And I was shocked. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I, it wasn't like I was looking for anything to happen. I was just okay. The person gave a prayer and pray for them. And God is here. Why? Because all it required was just believe. It was just act on the word. You know, the, the Bible says somebody comes for prayer, you, you lay hand on them, pray for them. So just act on the word. That little faith, the boy was healed. I didn't have some made of faith. Oh, he for them. no, I just had, I didn't even shout. I just put my hand on him. But I heard something leave my hand. And, and, and he was healed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. But there's some types that only come out by prayer and fasting. So Jesus said in Matthew 17, 21, he said, how be it this kind. But that was a hard one. Because that boy had that spirit from he was young. He had a, and, and, and he had epilepsy. Yes, an epilepsy. And he had many seizures, and from he was young. Any time you deal with a demonic spirit that's been around a long time, those are the ones from the difficult kind. 
You deal with demonic spirit that's been in a family from generation, generation. That's a more difficult time. You mean you have to be spiritually prepared with prayer and fasting. Now, what Jesus meant by that, he doesn't mean that, you know, at that moment, you're going to not go in prayer and fasting. It's not what he's talking about. What he's talking about is you have already lived a life of prayer and fasting. You're a person that prays and fasts, so you're spiritually prepared to deal with the hard times. Everybody, everybody with me? Somebody bless the name of Jesus. So we got to be in prayer and fasting to deal with some of the heavier types of demonic bondages in the life of others. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself spiritually to deal. Somebody bless the Lord. Are you guys understand what I'm telling you? Your position not authority is demons and devils. There's many of them in Brooklyn. They're gathering. I mean, they're gathering. They have a whole movement. Glory to God. But you have authority. Glory to God. There's some of them for you to deal with them. You got to spend time in prayer and fasting. This kind coming not out, but by prayer and fasting. Somebody praise the Lord. Is that, is that four? Was that four? But prayer fast. That's four. Glory to God. All right. I'm almost finished. Praise God. Number five, by the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. We read it at the start. Luke 10, verse 17. Hallelujah. The 70 returned and said, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. The devils are subjected through thy name. Through the name of Jesus, we exercise authority over demons and devils. Bless the Lord. Somebody raise the Lord. And when you're dealing with somebody, glory to God, you lay a hand on them or praise God. You speak to them, bless the Lord. You speak by faith. You speak to those demonic spirits. You, you command them to come out in the name of Jesus. It's not in your name. It's not in your holiness. It's not in your strength. It's not in your power. But it's in the power of the name of Jesus. Somebody praise his name. Ah, that's a micro Mark chapter 16, 15. In my name shall they cast out devils. In whose name? In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, your unclean spirit leave in the name of Jesus. Because they know, they know Jesus have already conquered them. They know that Jesus have already put them to shame. Jesus have already embarrassed them. When you use the name of Jesus, glory be to God. They have full knowledge. When Paul, when there were some guys in Acts, bless the Lord, the book of Acts, there were some guys trying to match Paul in rebuking demons, but except they weren't saved. And they were going, uh, we are adore you you unclean spirit in the name of Jesus whom Paul preached to come out and the devil said Paul I know Jesus I know I don't know you guys somebody praise his name but you are a child of God using the name of Jesus and those devils know that Jesus defeated them already somebody bless the Lord they command those demons to go in Jesus name Ooh, somebody shout hallelujah Shout hallelujah. By the name of Jesus, glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Last one, by command, by command. By what? You command them to leave in the name of Jesus. You command the devils to leave. You're going you're gonna to pray for some my deliverance. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy in Jesus. No, 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 no. Somebody's under confusion. Their mind is messed up. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of confusion, come out! Because you see the praying part, you did that already at home. Or in prayer meeting, you did that part already. You are positioned in what? Authority. You have the authority, you tell something to go, it goes. Isn't that how authority works? Yeah. You know, your boss tell you to do something, you do it, right? Because he's a position of authority. He said, you know, go and do this. You go and do it. If you don't do it, it's a consequence. Correct? Yeah. Hallelujah. In the same way, your position of authority, you spread a confusion. Come out of his mind in the name of Jesus. You command. You command. Let me give you the scripture. I'm finished. Glory to God. Luke chapter 4, verse 36. With authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirit, and they come out. With authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. 
Somebody praise his name. Somebody praise his name. Oh, somebody praise his name. Stand up on your feet. Glory to God. Jesus, I give you praise. Jesus, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Father, I bless your name. No child of God should allow the devil to bother their mind. It shouldn't be that you cannot sleep well. You cannot sleep well because your mind is bothered. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. If you find that your mind in confusion or you're very troubled in your mind, don't allow the devil to do that to you. Your position in authority. Rebuke the works of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Anyone need, need any ministering? Enemy attacking you in any form? Glory to God. Come. Bless the Lord. Don't be afraid. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Oh, hallelujah. Shebari ke sukoraba. Saraba. The mind, in the mind, enemy attacking in the mind. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes it may cause you to not sleep well. Cause you not sleep well. Glory to God. Get very troubled in the mind. Jesus. Come, 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 come. Come. I'm only saying it because the Holy Spirit says it. Confusion, yeah? Attacking the mind. Jesus. In the mind. Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you try to deal with it different ways. You know, you try to do other things to try to get yourself to be at peace. But you got to take authority over that spirit as you are a child of God, your position in authority. Hallelujah. Father, I bless your name. Any other, please come. Please come. Please come. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I come against every unclean spirit, every spirit of confusion, I rebuke you right now in Jesus mighty name you contrary thoughts I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against you I command you to leave their mind in the name of Jesus but these are children of God hallelujah and the peace of God dwell in them in the mighty name of Jesus I speak peace of mind in Jesus mighty name I drive out anything in the mind that's not of God come out in the name of Jesus and I speak peace I speak peace in the name of Jesus yes Lord let peace fill her mind soul and spirit let peace surround her let peace follow her in the name of Jesus be peace in her home in the mighty name of Jesus glory be to God hallelujah glory 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 in in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every attack of the enemy, every works of darkness. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You are of a sound mind and of a sound spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are an overcomer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thoughts are free. They're full of joy. But whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I speak peace. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Peace. Because God give it peace. Hallelujah. It is written that peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. In the name of Jesus. Anxiety I rebuke you. Worry I 
I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I come against your worrying spirit, your spirit of anxiety. She's full of peace. She's full of joy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a peace, a wonderful peace coming down from the throne room of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Lift your hands and give God some praise and glory. <laughs> my God. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands unto the Lord. Everybody, lift your hands unto the Father in the name of Jesus. Let your divine authority and power rest upon your people, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, so that God, they will lay a hand on the sick and the sick will recover, so that Father, hallelujah when they open their mouth and command unclean spirits to leave they will leave in the name of Jesus hallelujah yeah 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 somebody give God some praise and glory